Hi guys, this is Faye from Face World Media. In this video, I want to show you how I use Adobe Firefly's video editor beta to create something fun and cool based on the sequence of AI generated clips right from Firefly. Recently, I discovered a lot of AI kitten videos. I think they're super cute, heartwarming. So I was wondering if and how I can create them too. More importantly, as a small business owner, as a content creator, I love the idea of making content creation more accessible, possible, timely, and cost-effective. Adobe Firefly makes it possible for us to level up and have fun. On this channel, I have done a ton of Adobe Firefly tutorials. What makes me so excited about Video Editor Beta is the idea that within this timeline, right from Firefly, I'm able to pull and access all the creations I've done in the past, including AI generated videos, images, sound effects, even generated speech. Remember that you can use Adobe Firefly video editor for a variety of projects, not just those purely generated by AI. For example, you can pull in footage shot on your phone or on your camera right into the timeline. And then you can use AI features to create sound effects, generated speech, you can use AI generated videos as B-roll and transitions. The sky's the limit. So let's create something together right now. I can't wait to see in the comments section what you're about to create next. By the way, if this is your first time using Adobe Firefly's video editing feature, you're going to go to new and create video right here. And as you can see, the URL is firefly.adobe.com forward slash video editor new. And all your recent generations can be found right here. You can decide what you're creating, such as a YouTube video, which is 16 by 9, or a TikTok real, real stories. It's up to you. And look, my project is just right here. So I'm creating a simple series of videos. I'm going to show you how to get started here. I open up a new project and on the right hand side for generation settings, I keep everything at the default level. I typed in is a simple fluffy black cat wakes up in bed to an alarm, rubs his eyes. And this is what I received. And from here, of course, I can generate things such as new sound effect and I can proceed to the next screen and be able to generate a gentle alarm keep it like just like about three seconds or something and click on generate. Whatever I end up generating here, I can easily download. I can actually come back to the video as you can see and look at what happened. I have these alarm options. If you don't know how to more easily select either video image or audio, there is a filter here for you to easily find the audio input. I am going to just drop the audio file right here into the timeline. I can slide it around and I actually want to start the video that way. Now he wakes up and from here I can now have this frame as the beginning of the second generation, right? I'm going to delete this generation setting. I'm going to click on the first frame right here and select current frame. You can see that drops exactly that into the first frame and I'm going to say now the fluffy black cat gets out of bed and walked towards the kitchen. How about that? Remember, there is prompt enhancement. If you want to build something a little bit more extravagant, I'm just going to keep everything very simple, straightforward for this generation. By the way, you'll notice what I'm trying to do is create these short segments of the movements and actions. Like I'm building a story five seconds at a time. Because if I rush myself and try to create too many options, it's going to appear really jumpy and disjointed. So here I can really preview this. And if that's too small, I'm going to drag into my timeline. Now, I might not like everything I see here. And uh, I'm allowed to regenerate and create something a little bit more sophisticated. Or I can change the different motions. And that's the beauty of using AI Video Editor here inside Firefly. All right. My goodness. Towards the kitchen. Now... From here, I can say the fluffy cat now enters the kitchen looking for breakfast. Let's try this. It's a little bit blurry. It's not perfect, but I am curious what I can create from here. You can see the next frame is being generated and enter the kitchen looking for food. Maybe instead it will meow and trying to get the owner's attention. Maybe I will then introduce 
the footsteps of a woman walking towards the kitchen, something like that. So just step by step, little by little. Let me know in the comments below what are some of the creations that you're trying to create. I know there's so many really cute videos on YouTube. We think they're simple to create, but it actually still takes multiple steps to get to the desired result. So here we go. I am going to move this video now, building the next segment. Let's see how it looks. Wow, it kind of walks it from the bed fine. The, the kitchen's very close. The food is right here. Now, from this frame right here, I'm going to introduce the next first frame is him looking at this. Starts eating his breakfast and enjoying it. While the video is doing its thing, this is where your creativity starts to take shape. Once you begin to develop a character, maybe this is for your small business, it's for your marketing campaign. Once you're able to visualize it, so many better ideas can and really come to fruition. So let's go ahead and drag this clip right here. That's it. Step by step, action by action. I am really excited to share this process with you. So on your video here, if you want to include messages, there are titles, names, signs, and labels to choose from, and even dates. And I'm going to add this label here, and I can choose the duration of this, making it short, just for fun. And look, I can even move these captions around. If that's too short, I can drag it on a little bit longer. On the very bottom here, you even have transitions that are built in. So you have dissolve, you have black fade. So let's see what black fade looks like. This thing here is being added. So there you go. So that concludes one of the projects. Let's create a new timeline because I want to show you how to easily edit your video using text. So step one, I need to find a clip that I recorded recently. Okay. so. This is a video that I created outside of Firefly. I'm going to just import it real quick. You see, this is like a quick review video. Where not only I can content, but I can... Meanwhile, I'm going to go to the right hand side here, text based editing. I'm going to click on that. You'll notice while the video is being uploaded, the text is being transcribed as well. This means once it's done, I'm able to edit the video simply using text. You can see the WAV files are coming in. Transcription is happening. It starts with, hey guys, it's Faith from Faith's World. So if I want to just get rid of the, they are so cute, I can click on delete, they're gone. Now, in addition to these are the options. I can correct the transcript when things are misspelled. I can add text to timeline. I can assign the speaker. I can get rid of the text. And I can also choose to cut it out or copy or paste. So for me, this is it. So look at that. Look at the smooth transition. These microphones. And all I have to do is plug them in. So now I'm going to show you me recording directly into the phone. So super easy. I can really trim. But if I don't want to edit the file, if I just want to trim the very end, I can also do that directly on this timeline. Remember, you have all these options. Plus, you're able to trim the files using the scissor icon here to really cut as many times as possible. I hope you find this extra tip helpful. I think having all these tools, especially with a generative AI, you can access all your history. As mentioned before, you can add simple text, you can add simple transitions and even incorporating your own media. It can be so powerful. I like when you have limited number of tools to play with and see what you can make of it. With that said, I will see you in the next video.